What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gen. Today, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my desk and my workspace. As a full-time men's style writer, YouTuber, and small business owner that lives 100% online, I don't need a ton of room to work, but the space that I do have, I want it to be as conducive to being productive as possible. So why don't I show you around? I'm Baron, and on this channel, we usually discuss men's style tips, how to look sharp, how to dress with confidence, things like that. If that's something that you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out the rest of our videos. So today I'm going to give you a little inside look at how I work with a quick workspace and desk tour. All right, so why don't we start with the desk itself. The tabletop is the Linman model from Ikea. It's a bit lightweight and maybe not the best quality that's going to last years and years, but I think it looks great and it does a good job for now. By the way, I'm going to link to this tabletop and everything else. Uh, on my desk and in my workspace in the description box below so make sure you go ahead and check that out. I bought these steel hairpin legs for my old desk setup but when I switched to this new one I just stole the legs from there and use it on this tabletop and I think it looks better than most of the other standard IKEA options anyway. Okay moving really quickly to what's under my desk. This six drawer unit is the Helmer model from IKEA. It's surprisingly durable and it's nice and slim too which I like. It doesn't take up too much room under my desk and behind that is a simple gray and white cable organizer box that I keep all of my cables and my power strip in. My Amazon Echo Dot actually sits on top of that. What I like about this thing is that it keeps it relatively organized and you don't see a bunch of cables everywhere, which I totally hate. All right, so moving on to the stuff that actually lets me work. The laptop is a 2017 MacBook Pro and typically it's sitting on top of this vertical laptop stand by 12 South. I like this because one, it looks pretty cool standing up and two, it keeps the laptop mostly out of the way which maximizes my desktop space. I've been using the Apple wireless Bluetooth keyboard for a few years now but I recently upgraded to the Hex Gears uh, X1 mechanical keyboard and I'm looking forward to getting that soon. My Apple wireless mouse sits on top of this natural leather mouse pad from Ugmunk. What I like about this is that it's going to develop a patina over time the more I use it. So it's always going to look really unique and I'm excited to see it age over time. My monitor is Apple's 27 inch cinema display and it's sitting on top of a monitor stand from a company called Best Chan. I found it on Amazon. What I like about this laptop stand in particular is that it's made from one piece of solid walnut wood. Uh, it elevates my monitor a little bit so it's more eye level with me and also I can keep stuff underneath the monitor stand. Again that maximizes my desktop space since I don't have really much room to work with in the first place. Right now I store my Beats headphones under here as well as a two terabyte external hard drive. This is what I use for most things. My time machine backup. Also when I shoot and edit video I store it all on here. So this is a pretty important piece of my whole setup. My dongle situation is pretty tame. It has hasn't been as bad as I expected it to be. I use this USB-C hub from Aki. It has three USB 3.0 ports, plus a SD slot and a micro SD slot. To the left of my monitor, I keep my Bose SoundLink 2 uh, Bluetooth wireless speaker. This is definitely one of the best speakers I've ever owned. It sounds really nice and clear and crisp. And if I'm listening to music on my phone, this is typically what it's connected to. On the right side, next to my laptop, I keep my Canon M6 mirrorless camera. I actually use this guy for a lot of B-roll and other shots like that. Or when I'm traveling and I want to take my camera with me, this is such a small little unit that I can take around. It's so easy to bring. And finally, to add some life to my desk, I do keep a few plants on here, plus some artwork. The larger one is called a snake plant and the smaller one is a succulent. I believe it's some sort of cactus plant. Both are super easy to take care of. It doesn't need a bunch of watering. And honestly, a little bit of greenery adds a lot of life to my desk, which you wouldn't really think it does but it makes a big difference. The pots are from CB2 and they come in different sizes. After we bought the plants from the flower district here in Manhattan, we just came home and repotted them into these pots. The artwork is a mixture of prints, textiles, and photos. The biggest one, uh, which I really love, says New York or Nowhere. It's from a brand called Nolita. I also have a photo of me and Kay during our wedding day, an illustration of the Flatiron Building here in New York City, and a charcoal paisley pocket square from our men's line, Fifth and Brannon, which you may not have heard much about, but we may be coming out with a few new pieces soon. So I'm 
I'm gonna tell you about that in future videos, so make sure you watch out for that. Finally, the desk lamp. I didn't go with a task light because I don't do much reading or writing at my desk, but I did want a bit of ambient light, so I went with this small pedestal table lamp from West Elm, and I use a 25 watt Edison style LED bulb. It adds a nice warm glow to my little work area, and honestly adds a little bit of ambiance too, just like the plants do. All right, fellas, that's all I have for you. Let me ask you this though, before you go, what is that one thing on your desk or in your workspace that you simply cannot live without? I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Let me know. I do try to answer every comment that comes my way, so I look forward to chatting with you on there. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe as well. Also, hit that notification bell. That's gonna let you know when I come out with new videos. All right, I hope you enjoyed this desk tour and I will see you in the next one. Peace.